but we see the warmly lit interior of the humble cabin, the flames crackling in the nearby fireplace. Uh, we shift over to uh, Sir Dante, if you wouldn't mind describing to me what you look like and what you are doing within the cabin. Oh. Oh my god. Matt, you're real good at this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bad. No. Uh, well, I am a uh, approximately five foot ten turtle. Um, <laughs> Wearing a corsair's hat in brown leather with a with a lovely feather on top, um, a blue and white striped tunic, and a, a half cape of royal gold, uh, gold and royal blue, uh, leather gloves, uh, leather boots. Although uh, the toes cut out because turtle. Um, <laughs> I mean, of course. I have a very fancy rapier and a uh, chained weapon of some kind with a with a claw on it. And at the moment, I am attempting. To oh, I also have a scar on my face, just a little one of those, just something for yeah, some character. Mm. Um, and I'm at the moment using my hat to fan the the. Relax a minute now. What? I, I'm just curious about you all. Um, you, um, you there, big fella. I'm sorry, the accommodations aren't quite to your scale. As we shift over to see Pango. Hello. Uh, hi. Yes, I'm Pango. <laughs> Um, I am very tall. I don't really know heights too well. Uh, it's either seven or eight feet. Um, my feet are bigger than yours, so I don't know how that factors in. Um, but uh, I'm big, and I kind of I squint uh, when I'm outside a lot because I'm not used to being outside. I, I grew up under underground, um, and now and now I'm out. Um, uh, and traveling with my friends and having a grand old time. Uh, you might also notice uh, that. Most of my purplish skin is is covered up with um, uh, some armor, but which is also tastefully covered up with some very gr uh, green and very fancy duds that my that my friend Sweet Pea and Oppie stole for me in uh, in the next the last town over. I, I'm looking pretty <laughs> fresh. They they say I look fresh. I don't know what that means, but it's um. Yeah. <laughs> and, and right now I'm just sort of staring over. Uh, Zarlo's plate, just wondering if he's going to finish all of it, because it looks. Well, I need more. Have at it, you dry shite. Are you hungry still? Uh, oh my god. I mean, I don't want to impose, but like, I could, yeah, I could, I could eat. I can make plenty of biscuits if that's what you need. No he need is to big. Fight. If that fecker fell over, he'd be halfway home. <laughs> well, I, I'm happy to get you a bit of food as well, I suppose. Uh, whatever brings all your own. I'm a fecker? Does that mean I feck? <laughs> What my grandfather always used to say to me is, Zarlo, don't say fucker, it's not polite, say fecker instead. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll use that. Sort of a cheat. Okay. I've learned that, all right, fecker, I'm writing that down <laughs> as he goes and walks over to his bookcase. As you kind of sit back and cross your arms with confidence, uh, what what does Zarlo look like? Uh, well, Zarlo is, is sort of the elder statesman of this group, even though he's not that old. Uh, he's been with the larger organization our people have been with, uh, this group has been with for, for quite some time. And uh, while not a mentor per se, sometimes he has to be a bit of a babysitter. They get into trouble a lot. Um, Zarlo is about four feet tall. He's a simia. Uh, lots of brown fur. Uh, has a very regal uh, twined mustache down the sides of his face. A little bit scruff of a beard, and there's a shock of white in his brown hair. He has an always active tail that is as communicative as his hands uh, tend to be. And he is wearing like Burning Man pants and a pair of <laughs> sashes going diagonally across his chest, These? holding. Yeah, those yeah. Like, they're he's all wearing, of a, a russet to brown. Yeah. A lot of okay. people think Burning Man pants are no pants. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Duck. <laughs> Sometimes it is those pants, but not today. <laughs> in the trees, no less. By the way, I am also perching to be in character like a monkey, but I am. I feel like I might fire at any minute. <laughs> but I'm living on the edge and I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, and his his cheeks are a little little red right now because he's probably had one or two cups too many today. Fair enough. Oh. He glances over towards the, uh, the the regal looking beetle figure who's been stoically right. standing, staring into the flames. That's how it's <laughs> Production can do that. So regal. Oh my god. I'm sorry. The smoke's getting to you too. Here, some more tea, Swallow, and he comes up and hands you a hefty mug of hot steaming. His accent's a little thick. Right, right. Kexen is standing there, holding on to his staff. 
Um, he has a hard shell that's got uh, blues and purples in it, kind of shiny with lighter bluish green eyes and large mandibles pointing out from his face, very much like a stag beetle. Uh, he has some kick-ass like armored pauldrons yeah. with points, yeah, yeah. just for, for flair and maybe a little bit of protection. And he has larger shells that are hiding uh, translucent, like light blue wings underneath his, Work it. his back shell. Um, yeah, and he's just That's one sexy bug. Sure is. <laughs> and I just, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of moving like a little, uh, a little trace of arcane energy in between uh, my, my fingers. You friends as well. I, I I may not have enough to feed all of you, but um, you know what I can oh, find. I can go ahead. Oh, very okay. Yeah, we eat pretty light. I think the majority of it went to your big friend over here. That's okay. Um, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry. I could, you got, I, could, I could try to barf it up if you want some. I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. Sure. Okay. I'll work on it. Yeah. All right. In the back. In the back. Oh God. <laughs> in the back. <laughs> oh, um, I'm gonna look for a bucket. <laughs> As the two of you begin to scramble looking for a bucket, uh, can you describe what we see oh, <laughs> running, so running around? around the... You see <laughs> one girl who is um, short, but she looks like very tall compared to her her friend here. Um, very slender with a giant cap. Um, she is a fun girl. Mm -hmm. um, very like pale, almost a sea green color. Um, and her clothes are very flowy. She wears like a big oversized cardigan and resting against the wall is her long, I think it's a long staff with a, a couple hooks on it. Mm -hmm. um, and she just looks very free and floaty. <laughs> How short or tall is she again? About four foot. You might have re to yourself. Well, what are you doing? Audrey? Oh, I, I, I'm looking around too. I'm trying to help find a bucket. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little ribbit. Um, <laughs> just sort of sapphire blue skin with, with a, a, a smattering of, of, of yellow freckles everywhere and, and huge yellow eyes. And my cloak is made out of leaves and, and a little hat uh, made out of leaves as well. And uh, my staff, which um, I found at the bottom of the river and it's so sparkly, and it was so shiny, and I just had to get it. And it constantly, uh, a billow of smoke. Um, what I don't know is it's a cigarillo. <laughs> 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 but it's magical to me. Um, I have uh, little, little, little overalls, and uh, they're, they're striped, and you know, the little tops of the overall that he calls his little papenders. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, little shoes that kind of that, that, that I shove my feet into, uh, so I look real nice and, and, and smart. And uh, uh, my name's Oppie. Um, Why? Well, well, thank you, Oppie. I oh, I appreciate yes, you both helping out. Oh, what, I'm, I'm what's sweet your name? Pea. I'm Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea. Yeah. Oh, pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea and Oppie. That's a, that's a pair. Pleasure yeah. to meet you. Yo, pleasure's nice. Again, even though. Yeah. Uh, do you have a prospective uh, leader of your troop for the menagerie? Uh, you seem to be a rather um, uh, presentary individual. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> uh, my, it's, it's not always this chilly in the West. <laughs> and I go over to, uh, to Sir Dante, and I take out my bladed fan, and I just start helping him fan the flames just a little bit. And what you see is like, a stacked, caked up fawn. Let's go. She is, <laughs> she is curvy. She has kind of a, like a light, dusty rose uh, fur tint to her. And even though she is a fawn, she has bunny ears, almost like a jackalope. And uh, she has really like strappy leather armor um, and a little like cropped leather jacket that barely covers anything, but she goes, oh, and she covers up. Are you, are you cold, Miss Bunny? Oh, I can give you my scarf. It's Cardigan. just a little chilly. Oh, oh, I wouldn't want to take anything from you. You're so, you're so dainty. Um, she's got like a lot of, like a kind of a garter that she has a little dagger built into. And then you see on her fan, it's like serrated and has, sharp edges for it that she uses as a weapon, Ooh, cool. as well as has a little a whip that she has wrapped around and fastened to her belt. Here, Dante. 
Thank you, dear. Thank you. Here we go. No. That's good. I'm, I'm Bunny, by the way. Bunny? Yeah. Well, pleasure to meet you, Bunny. It oh. becomes this odd, kind of segmented creature looking at you with the big eyes. You were sent from the Velvet Grove for help. We'll do it. We'll help you. For free. Free samples. Free samples. They all look at each other, <laughs> and the two open figures go, oh, that, that was far easier than we anticipated. Well, Yo, that's very we're kind. We're still sort of trying out our whole menagerie thing. Think of it like, a, like an open beta, sort of a, yeah. <laughs> we're, just we're just testing it out. <laughs> <laughs> what you see? <laughs> oh, while you're heading out there, keep an eye out for uh, Wild Cullen. Uh, he's a kind of a rugged ranger, and he's a warden of Andres Southern Wood. He's an old Is he a acquaintance. Vampire? I certainly hope not. Shame he's... on you. <laughs> Shame <laughs> on you. Okay, the fucking color reference. Well. Jesus. Oh, God. Mark a hip. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> he warned us. He warned us oh, over the game. Oh. Just had no fear for no reason. Uh -uh. Did Cole tell us what oh, the crow God. sounds like? <laughs> The Etherica crow? Etherica crow? Etherica. 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 Yes, that one. That's what it sounds like. Etherica. No. It's a little difficult to describe. It's kind of like a like a a ghostly crying sound. You you'll know it when you hear it. It's Oddly human-like. You, you, you can't, oh, you can't uh, like, that at like all. give us your, your impression of it, though, just so we have some sense of it. Yeah, I'm not much of a performer That's... and an old soldier, but I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. They ah. sound so sad. I don't know. I've never seen one. I never went that deep in. Never cold. Don't sell yourself short. Okay. That was great. Well, thank you. I, I took some improv classes when I was younger. <laughs> 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 what is this wallet picture? Picture that. Transgression. See, Bunny kind of she loses the thread a little bit of what she's doing. You see her kind of like dancing a little bit as she <laughs> she goes through the forest. Do you hear that? It's almost like music. Huh? No. Do, hear do we hear it? You do not. <laughs> what is it? What? What does it sound like? No, don't Just... stop. I, I mean, no. <laughs> Just the sounds of the forest. Oh, you know, like... the chittering of the bugs, mm -hmm. the wind wisping through the trees. It's beautiful. Could it's got them? its own little rhythm. I'm trying really hard to hear the rhythm. I hear everything but the rhythm at the moment. <laughs> it's gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. The, be the best you can I think out as you listen out there is as the day begins to shift into night, the type of sounds that fill the air begin to become even further from welcoming. Well, it, it, it sounds scarier now. It does sound scary. Yeah, I can hear. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll mark a stress, and uh, my the back sort of covers of my my wings will open up, and right when they start fluttering, they they kind of flash for a second, using a little pressed digitation to just create a little light as I lift up. You and I'll just uh, try and go up and around the tree. Yeah, are you bioluminescent? Maybe. Oh. oh. That's pretty cool. That's, cool. That's great. Only when I drink alcohol. Um, Into the young, and I spill out. <laughs> One of the heads kind of like looks over towards it. Oh, no, he's gonna eat the puppies! Oh, no. no, he's not. The other head kind of shifts and is, and is kind of <laughs> glancing, <laughs> glancing past all of you, the entity. We have food if you need it! <laughs> <laughs> They're just biscuits. Oh, we know. They're not me! Don't eat me, please. You Where walk he? in Andra's realm. Just kind of shout out. Maybe Zarlo's right. Maybe we shouldn't make Andre angry. Fuck that! Uh, I start. <laughs> <laughs> and I come around to see an oppy. Uh, you will in a second. Oh no! Because I get to take my turn now. I As is his fashion, kiss his palm and hold it out, and then instantly start to monkey lope towards Oppie, 
and run up behind her and hey. place uh, run up behind him, sorry. I, I changed I, it. It's changed from the play test till now. From it's the, a little guy, it was a right? little guy. I have to... Right, <laughs> and I'm going to place my hands on the top of his slimy head and use uh, my divine wielder uh, uh, ability, sparing touch. It just works, works. Once per yep. long rest, you can touch a creature and heal, take two heal <gasps> hit points back. I just look, I just look two. straight up in your eyes as you're doing it. Just big eyes just staring at <laughs> oh, He has pretty big you, brown eyes as well. Look your eye hole. <laughs> 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 and I feel my hands start to go a little bit numb and I just start shaking off the slime from them. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, Mr. Sarah. Thank you. <laughs> Side note, shout out to every artist who worked on these cards. Oh, my oh, that's oh, that's oh, that's 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 I don't like, down. You, <laughs> you are destined. <laughs> you are destined for greatness. You know, me it's and just you. Like, you're looking. Wait, you're looking up, and you're just seeing boobs, and then you're like just, yeah. past boobs. Just try not making eye contact. No, 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 make <laughs> eye contact. That's <laughs> very weird. Make the rabbit ears Just look at down. me. Yes, Please. listen to me. Just in. Me and you. I think we would make a great duo act. Mm. And first. You're going to hear oh, no. a heartbreaking song that starts to play. Me and all of my close allies can take a hope. Done. Can you see? Get all right, I just want to try to use get get my staff, so I'm just gonna get it going again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 try to. That well, no, it's like a. It's like a. It's <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, adults. <laughs> I'm going to talk. I got my. Uh... Uh, baggy pants and make sure the pups are tight and I start to swing through the branches. Right. We should walk you away this time. You take the high road. Oh, that's terrible. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Too real. Finally no. shaking your accent off. <laughs> Talking like a normal person. The odd cadence of Sir Dante's cackle <laughs> echoing through the shattered expanse. Nineteen <laughs> that I have, and um, I'm going to down whatever water is left of it very quickly, and I'm going to see if there's a way to just get a scoop a bit of this gunk into it without touching anything. I would like to ask for a finesse roll on that. All right. This is specifically a, a challenging test. Of this may be <laughs> your control. Absolutely hilarious. In this fucking shit right here. <laughs> you gotta be so shit. Damn it, Sam. Teeniest. I can't say. dagger fart. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's basically what I have. <laughs> oh my god, Sam. <laughs> this guy. You know, Zarlo, I just keep wondering if all this is connected like to that seep stuff you were talking about. Well, I thought that too. I mean, Pango. it was liquidy. Oh, Pango. What'd you Sorry. call me? I called you Pango. <laughs> it's kind of close. I mean, whenever I she talks, Pango. I just kind of sort of listen. Do you want to call Pango? Pango. Yeah. Answer anything. Yeah. <laughs> There's something kind of floating in the water, but it looks like it's caught on one of the heavy roots, mm. and it's just kind of snagged and hanging along the edge. What does it look like? What oh. is it the shape of a person? You take a moment to focus, and it does indeed look like a body. As you yank and pull, it hits like a rock and then flips over onto its back, revealing what looks to be a, a, a humanoid male figure, um, slightly bloated from oh. being in the water for oh a bit. Oh no, it's Wild Colin! Is it? Is it? You take a glance toward it and see the familiar hair slicked, the piercing eyes, and the human and elven mixed lineage still recognizable beyond the <gasps> face of death. Ah, golly. Oh, no. Drag him away from the water. I want to make a knowledge roll to see if you can analyze the extent I'll of the wounds. Probably not be the one to do that. Uh, I, I, hmm, uh, Go for uh, it. Uh, no. Go uh, for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you're clever, and you're a 
Beetle, does this look? <laughs> what, what would you make of this of this wound? It was just a band. It killed him. Yes, but does it look look? It killed him. Does it look like it would, might have been a rock? It might have been a bite? It might have been an axe? Man, I, I, I'm just, uh, I'm nervous, and I'm going to go for it. Just straight out, I'm going to, I'm going to warm up my staff again, and I'm going to unleash chaos. Okay. And so. Unleash chaos. Unleash chaos. So, that what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make my spellcasting roll. Yes! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so All right. Good. All right. <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> really good. Oh, I'm I think I've decided that <laughs> now uh, that Kexen is going to be, he's about five feet tall. Oh. But, but the pauldrons that he so, has so are magically tall. enchanted and were given to him, so it increases his size as long as the pauldrons are on. That's cool. Ooh. Otherwise, Ooh. he would be smaller. I dig that. Okay. So, wait, five feet is his grown size? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I, I don't like know that. why, but all I care about is height. So you're five feet tall. How tall are you? I'm, I'm a fun, so I'm, I'm pretty tall. Six foot? Six foot. Oh. So, I second know. tallest in the group. And but is that with or with, without the ears and horns? Oh, yeah, do the ears add height? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, what about you, sir? No, it's 5'10, 5'11, about 5'10. Right. Suppose. So, tallest. Eight, seven, Normally six, I'd be about seven, very close. Three, three, three. Four, and a half three. Yeah, but, uh, one and a half to two, I'm and you go up to five I'm feet. I'm a fairy. The fairies that came in landed yeah. on her wow. staff. Up to five feet, though. I love that differential. That's yeah. well, their sizes can shift all over. Yeah. Something I like to do at night is I've been starting to make a map mm -hmm. of everywhere I've been. And so far, we started at the sermon. <laughs> yeah, sermon <laughs> And then we went to Ubi, and now we're in Emerald Sky. So I got a long way to go. But I'm right here. I have an asterisk that says, found half a dead body. Killed a snake and some crabs. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm just gonna keep adding to it. It calms me down. It's good. It's like a diary map. It's like a diary map. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna see the My. whole world. You should write down here. That's where we found. Which is the borders of the map. Yeah, <laughs> found a giant. Found a giant named Pango. That's me. That's you. You see the spring right there before you with the strange abscess pulsing. Are we supposed to just attack the thingy? Is there a way to plug it, perhaps? Or somebody have or some insect? magic? When I oh, go to take no. my little soy satchel off with the dogs, and I'm going to put it over Oppie's head. I got him. We're going to use the puppies to plug it, of course. Take care. Genius. I walk away from Oppie. I'm going to walk <laughs> far towards the source That'd of this. Dogs. And. Uh, Twelve with fear. Where are you? Uh, where, 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 are you where, where are you? Though are you across the? I'm way? under Boko. Under Boko's taint. Uh, that who? See, uh, this counts as um. Uh, uh, Did you, can close you do range. something? Yeah, I could use luck bender. We're once per session. Uh, it's a fairy feat. After you are an ally in close range, makes an action roll. You can mark a stress to allow a reroll of the duality dice. <gasps> okay. You are you do, you within a close range. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right there. oh, the pencil has ruled. Oh. <laughs> it works! <Yeah. laughs> I'm a good fucking fairy! <laughs> Linda. Well with hope. with hope. I don't get that fear. So there you go. That's a success. You go ahead and take your hope to that point. Power couple move. Used it. Oh. Where yeah, where yeah. Uh, nine with hope. Ribbit. I'm gonna reach deep. Mm. And yeah, I'm gonna yeah. use from my splendor oh. spell reassurance once per short rest after an ally attempts an action roll, but before the concept takes place, you can offer assistance or words of support. Aubrey, you can do this! <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> they may re-roll their dice. They may accept the result oh. of this new roll. Oh. 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 I stabbed him in the build! Oh yeah. Splendor, okay. baby. Come on. You got this. You got this. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, is wait. it very good? It's, it's, no. it's very good. So we got. I'm gonna destroy you. Good. <laughs> We're gonna I'm die. Cooking them up. Cooking them up. <laughs> Seventeen with hope. Seventeen with hope does succeed. Ah! Ah! All right, all right, all right, all right. Fired by their tag team action, uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> boop, boop. 
but do it also. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna, I turn over uh, to my my friend Sir over here, mm. and noticing that his <laughs> that his shell sort of forms a frisbee shape. I'm gonna pick him up. <laughs> I'm gonna put my. I'm, I'm, I'm tucking my feet in, and I look at you. Let's make a mo- molehill out of this mountain. <laughs> oh! And I'll spin around. Oh, yes! <laughs> and I'm gonna throw him like a discus. Hell yeah! I am coming down like a spinning buzz. All right, that's uh, that's a uh, crit. Oh wow! Hey! Well, shit. That means you both get a hope and you both clear stress. That's an automatic success. Come on. So go ahead and add your damage up on this. Okay, let's go. Get a hope. Clear stress. And if I recall, if it's a crit on attack, you get uh, one of your. You get an add an additional yes. full damage die. Oh, max, right? oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, 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 A max damage die. Oh, yeah, you add it in addition. And, and yeah. I'm still adding this mine. This is nasty. And they both do, right? They both do it, yeah. Oh, I'm adding oh, my gosh. damage. Oh my god, this is going to be so This is the, this is the optimal fucking roll, scenario for a tag I don't team. Don't roll a third die, I just add the max third die. Correct. Oh my god, this is going to be bad. <laughs> I oh love this so much. So many dice right here. 21 points from me. Uh, eight, uh, eight, 16, 20. Because I'm using my unstoppable feats uh, to unstoppable. Uh, feature. To I believe add mine add is 18. But you did check. So a total of uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 18. 18, and what was yours? 21. 21. Oh, yeah, that's thir- 39. <laughs> uh, how do you want to do this? Oh! <laughs> The two of you together, please describe the scene as you build momentum, swinging, swinging your turtle Sword friend with Sardante the same around. Dagger in the other, just so like I've got the two blades. I've pulled my legs, arms, and head in as far as it can go. It's blue fabric and blade. Uh, and as as I release a single tear from the loss of Wango. Uh, just sort of propels him even higher into the sky, and almost like you know how you throw a frisbee too high and it goes too far, uh-huh. but then it comes back. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. frisbee yeah. golfed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As you land, full on like Levi Ackerman, just slicing into this fucking abscess, just into it. Uh, you are both completely just coated in in some odd alien viscera. And they're in the middle of this no longer pulsing <laughs> growth that is currently kind of slowly separating into the nearby <laughs> and freshly emerging clean spring water from beneath. Yay. You see your now deeply coated and now kind of bobbing turtle. Heads, friend. head comes out, legs, arms. No one dies on this hill today. Oh. 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 Fucking going. This is on it's my yes. blue ribbon shit. Boko stands up angrily, fists kind of raised, and is about to reach to try and like slap and smash Zarlo on the back before the purplish coloration of the eyes begins to fade into a pure white. Its slam fist turns instead to a platform. Wild flame! (laughs) (laughs) I am sorry, little friend. How long has it been this way? I don't even know. I sent away my children. Places you on the ground. I want to know why. But then I lost myself. We are sorry. <laughs> kind of like sits down. <laughs> you can already hear like the sounds of returning chirps of nearby creatures that have been in hiding that can sense the shift in energy. It slowly looks around with each turn. You hear the crumbling and scraping of stone on stone. The thick patches of moss that surround parts of its body as it sweeps over and scoops both of you up from within the, the brackish waters as they slowly filter out, and you as well, and sets you all onto the ground before. I hope to one day repay you for what you have done for us. Forest is made up of many trees. You're not alone. Never alone. Hmm. 
looks back over towards the spring. I should have been more careful. You know, it's no use blaming yourself. It's not your fault. Be careful how? I've been known to be too trusting. Did someone betray you? I don't know. There are those that travel here, seeking guidance, seeking peace. A man came through a week before, sheepish, odd, pitiful. He was seeking to commune with Andra, with nature. I offered guidance and he refused, took his own walkabout. He seemed confused at best and dubious at worst, but we kept a distant eye as we wandered the perimeters of our belt. He left without issue thereafter, and not but a day later, this began to grow. It reaches out and grabs like the still kind of lingering husk of that growth, and like rips it from the center of the spring. I reach out, I grab a little patch, uh, uh, just a piece in case we find more of it. Tears a chunk of it and kind of sets it on the ground for you. <laughs> and then just crushes the rest in its palm until there's nothing left. And you can see like that anger and fear as it clenches its jaw. What did he look like? Did he give it a name? No name. And as it looks to you, to answer your question, its face breaks into a hundred small stones that shift. They seem to sw swirl and rotate and then form a new face, a, an image of an older man, well detailed in stone, uh, kind of sagging jowls, kind of a balding head. Foreign to most of you, except for you, Bunny. <gasps> you know this man. A con man in Cad named Dylan Brosh, who is an occasional patron of the Lily Locket Lounge in Love Ale. And that's where we're going to end tonight. <gasps> I'm so if we ever come back to something, we can pick up from there. That was fucking awesome! Dang! You can't dangle that. I was one fear. The fan guardian is awesome! That was fun. This was so oh, much fun! Yeah. It was really fun. Oh, I oh forgot. There's so much stuff I forgot to use in my oh. foundation that I can use. Are we doing this again? Just have to play again. No, yeah. this is the last time we ever And then I was like, you know, <laughs> maybe we level we up and the menagerie continues. I would love to. That could be done, actually. That we, could do that. Cool. So we could do that. So we could do that. play this again. We got yeah. thread. Two, we got a menagerie <laughs> toi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. A <laughs> menagerie toi. Oh, that's totally shit. <laughs> uh, As a more timid player sometimes, I was nervous about not having an initiative, but I to love like it. You were not timid at all. Yeah. You were killing it. Oh, who, me? Yeah. All hail Oppie. <laughs> all hail Oppie with his... Ooh, Are the dogs okay? okay? They're fine. Oh. All right. Yeah, Twixton, Twix are fine. Yes, up in the tree. 
Yeah. Oh. Right. Well, yeah. Maybe the uh, the audience can tell us if they want to see the return <gasps> oh, of uh, yeah. the menagerie of yeah. the Grim Wardens <laughs> of Lockspire. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know layered. what you think. It's layered. You know, oh, yeah. we'll Indeed. Of Dagger. Uh, Off the dome, yo. Oh, <laughs> that, that's oh, all. Man. That's all the time we have for this one shot tonight. Oh, uh, thank you all so much for joining us for this. I hope Why? you enjoyed it along with Why? us. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Been a bit. Um, I know, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Hope you all had fun, yeah. and I, I'm excited for all of you to have fun playing this. Uh, so to learn more and join this open beta play test, go check out daggerheart.com. So gather your party, make some characters, more. just create all sorts of chaos, play a ribbon and other weird shit. Uh, or bring in all the classics, bring in your elves, bring in your humans, bring in your dwarves, they're all there. Uh, and all the cool kids are doing it. So, uh, so no, no, but just, just be sure to tell us uh, your thoughts about the system, the things that you like, the things that you think could use some work, some things that you know uh, could could possibly see some shifting or some tweaks. Like we're, it's the wonderful thing about our official Dagger Hub and Beta, uh, and using those surveys is it helps us make this game better for all of us. Um, but we are determined to make this game as good as possible. Uh, and uh, those surveys are invaluable part of that process. So Amazing. please do so. I know. Um, All hail the god of the seep. Chat. God of the seep. Burning on oh, us. Oh no. That's what I call my dick. <laughs> 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 on that note, good night, everybody. We love you very much. And is it, Why is it Tuesday? Yeah, I don't know. Thursday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>